The guard says, I have a flow that sends a mail. Trigger is new item in a SharePoint list. The flow works fine, but the mail should come from a coworker in HR. Any suggestion how to give the flow to somebody and delete remove me? Delete slash remove me. Well, if you check the the links, we've included one on how to, uh, you know, assign a basically a service or run as user. Um, this this is a common practice in most of the IT world, but I think it's something that's still getting hold in the the power uh, power platform. You know, power platform is kind of in that awkward teenage stage where it's not quite old enough to do everything the way IT would want it to do, but it's still young enough that, you know, pretty much anybody can grab onto it. The idea of a service account is to make sure none of your users who, as has been shown many times in the past, a user who sets everything up to run as themselves and then leaves the organization but doesn't let anybody know, and that a account either becomes disabled or, unfortunately, in a lot of cases, deleted, and so you get to play the whack-a-mole game of trying to find all the different services and tools and processes that ran as that user. We have a service account and do it that way. So I'd read into that. That's how I interpreted that question. Is that how you guys saw it too? But can't you designate from the Active Directory which user the email can be sent from? It's part of the parameters when you create that. Yeah, so even if the email low hanging fruit, the email needs to go from that person. That person shouldn't own the flow either if it's mi mission critical so that right. you can reassign it. And it should be a role that it comes from, like a um, mailbox, depending on the situation, not from Susie, but from HR group, whatever. Yeah. Well, we're, there's yeah. so many different email steps now in flow that you can use. I mean, with different, mm -hmm. different dis disabilities, I'll call them, <laughs> and the ability to, uh, specify different parameters. Uh, yeah, I, I agree. Anything you can do to send that from a, a role or a designated mailbox or something like that to get a level of abstraction between the user who does the authoring and editing and the process itself. You know, mm. abstraction is the, the name of the game. And if you use a connector in there, so here's the key thing to this. So when you send it on behalf of somebody, because I've actually had to deal with this, um, you have to use a connector in there. And the person who is actually the, the account that it's coming from has to log in and has to approve that connector. And here's why a role or a group or something is, even, is way better. Because if that connector, for whatever reason, logs out, times out, has an issue, whatever, then it's it's all, it'll stop the entire flow and the whole thing will fail until that person, not you, not you as the owner, not you as the creator, not you as a service account, but that person has to log back in and click on it to refresh the connector as the logged in user. So um, you can always change that in there, but it's definitely good to use service accounts groups dedicated accounts of some sort of possible, but yes, yes, you can. You have to use a connector and that person has to log in and approve it. And anytime the connector is disabled, they have to be the one to refresh it. Well, the fact that it's a SharePoint list tells me that it's in some kind of collaborative space that is more than one person involved anyway. So there's mm -hmm. there's gotta be a group account in there that could be usable for that. Can I just point out that here's another example of why you need to have a governance strategy around Power Platform? Yep. Yep. So you can remind people of little rules and little issues like this and why you might want to have, agree upon service accounts and how people author their flows. Yep. Yeah. In fact, we just ran into one of my clients. Um, we're, um, they're actually doing a really nice job. They're, you know, maturing and they're bringing in um, a Power Platform uh governance and setting up the center of excellence and doing a real good job of that. And um, they've been working through that. And I went to help them with a ticket that came in about um, some flow had died or whatever. And they're like, hey, can you help us with this? And I was like, yeah, I'll just reach out to the person. I know who built the flow. So I'm like, I'll reach out to them. Their email didn't work. I'm like, did that person leave? And they're like, oh yeah, by the way. And I'm like, oh no. Because I knew that this person had built, had been a power user, and we had been kind of chasing this person for a while, trying to collect all their stuff, getting it shared, getting it put in. 
And I'm like, oh, no, I know I know this is going to be kind of pain. So we had to, I had to go in and get anything that I could at the top level to your point, Sean. And, you know, there's certain things like we can see certain things. We can't see certain things. So I'm like, well, here's the things I can see. Here's the things I can help with. Here's the things that you're just kind of going to be stuck with having to fix yourself. And so, I mean, at least they're down the path where they're maturing enough to be able to put some governance around that. Um, once they're done, I think that'll help a lot. But while I was in there, I'm like, hey, while I'm in here, I'm just going to go ahead and share this with our uh, admin team in case we need to help you in the future. <laughs> yeah. And you can't you can't tell them with any certainty how far down the iceberg goes below the nope. level. So all they yeah, knew I, was that things weren't working, things that they had depended on for quite a while just weren't working and they couldn't yeah. figure out why. And I'm like, oh, uh, ouch. Yep. It's a hard lesson to learn. Yeah. Yes.